Hello, and welcome back to level 3 Aqua Star. No, Kirby 64, the Crystal Shards. Ha! We're going in to level 3 Aqua Star today. Let's do it. Ah, uh, this one has been known to be a tad difficult at times. Sorry. Um, I have a hard time with this every now and again, so. We will see if that's the case today. There are quite a few, by that I mean two maybe, um, things that we need certain power-ups for. So I, I don't know them exactly, but I do know what we will need. I just can't remember which level each is needed. So I'm actually going to hold on to this uh, uh, quirky power-up for a while until we hit a certain point of me knowing that that's not it. But until then, we will have this quirky power-up. I hate this power-up. <laughs> I hate it. It's terrible. I mean, I've gotten better at it as I've gotten older, but... Come on. It's just... I don't like it. I mean, it's neat, but it's just not what I'm trying to use. Are you kidding me? I think you actually might be invincible when you're in volcano state, which is actually important. But look at this. The crab can clip. He can clip your boulders as you shoot them. That's not fair. All right. Bye-bye. All right. Let's uh, hop up here. Just keep shooting through these guys, I guess. See what this world has to offer. Oof. I wasn't ready for those guys to actually hit me. More of these... No! No! Look! Crystal Shard! And if we're good enough with our breath, we can just get back up here. Nice. Go, Kerbo. And then we'll miss, because I wanted to use this stupid power-up we got. Nah. We really should just be doing this while we have this power-up. Um, at least on those guys. On these guys, we'll do that. Humorous. All right. And it pains me, but I cannot take the ice from the penguin. Because, you know, that's what he is. That was a double kill right there. Pretty cool. Frog. Got him. You gotta lure them if you want this food. And I want this food. If I had more range, it wouldn't be as bad. It just has no range at all. <laughs> Zero range. It's kind of funny. So we got that guy. You know, it's funny, because I am a very predictable person. So, and I've played this game about a thousand times through. And, Kirby, please! I need the health! Nah, but how you're going to get that health is you're going to go flying through here and just drop down. Um, but, I usually have the same exact power-up every time I come through the same exact areas, because I like what I like, and I'm going to grab what I think is cool. So, yeah, it's just always funny, because I'm very... I, I had... I've This was one of the first games I had for my Nintendo 64. Um, I've had it for a long time. Uh, I got my Nintendo 64 when I was 3. I am 24. Um, I... So, yeah, I've been playing... Oof! Oof! None of that. Yeah, these guys are pretty funny when you're on the their level. But, yeah, you just go ahead and do this. You'll kill him. And you can go ahead and grab that crystal shard there. Uh, it's not this level that you need this, but I am actually going to keep this dumb power up for... Until we find the area that I need this in. That way we don't have to go back and get it. How's that sound? Um, sorry. We gotta go get a bomb and a snow. A bomb a snow. Ha! That's a Pokemon. Anyways. Um... I totally blanked. I'm sorry. I didn't realize it was this one. Pretty sure there's a bomb in here, right? This is weird. It's weird that I, <laughs> I do this, uh, but we have to. I mean, you know, I'd like to... I... Uh, gross. Anyways. Oh, you turkey. Committing suicide in front of me? That's so selfish and unfair to me. There we go. I'm gonna go ahead and over here to Aqua Star. Go back in. There will be that penguin. We'll toss the bomb at it when we get in there. 
Uh, Snow Bomb, one of my favorites. It's not one of my favorites utility-wise, but just... It's probably my favorite looks-wise. Um, but utility-wise, it's probably Electric... Uh, electric Cutter. It's probably my favorite utility-wise. And it's just awesome. I can't believe I haven't had the ability, or had the uh, opportunity to show it off yet. I know I've talked about it, but I just... We haven't got there yet. Or we haven't had the opportunity yet. You need it to complete... Um, you need it to complete a certain... Get a certain crystal shard. So Now, I think when I see the picture of the, the next place we're going to... I am going to go ahead and go off and try to get the power up that we'll need for that level. Because we'll need Stone Cutter, we'll need uh, Magma, no, Rock, Fire, and I don't, I don't remember the other level of this game, of this world. Well, I remember, I remember what they all like look like, I just can't, I'm not sure, but anyways. Blue and black! Isn't that awesome? And you're an explosive snowman. I love snowmen. It's my favorite thing in the world. So explosives added in? Neat. Really, you might not even have to bait these frogs, but if you if you bonk those blocks with your head, you, it's, it's bait enough for them. So Let's get walking. You're thick as can be. Now, it does have a time limit. Um, and if it explodes like that, it is actually a frost bomb. But if you run into them... It's just straight up explosive. So if this guy, yeah, if this guy were to attack us, go ahead. Okay, he got the explosion end of things. Which he should have, but, yeah. There we go. Because the block eats the explosion and it makes us explode, so. Pretty cool. Ice cubes kill, though? Oh, it stopped. That's a shame. But yeah, an ice cube will kill. And if you're in full snowman mode, you are invincible. So, Invincible for one hit, but, you know, still, pretty fun. Being thick and invincible and a snowman? That's like a triple whammy. And you never see triple whammies in the wild. Yeah, you can just put your hat on, jump up and hit this guy. Oh, each crystal shard, if you come back and grab it again, it uh, counts as five stars for your life meter. Give us a piece of food. Maximum tomato. All right. I swear I'm not saying maximum tomato. I know it probably sounds like that, and that's why I've corrected myself twice now, even though I didn't do anything wrong. It just, I want to make sure, I want to make the, drive the point home that I am not saying maximum tomato. It just sounds funny. Wow, look at that blue and black block. Yeah, we walked out here and I was like, dang it! <laughs> I knew it! We'll grab a, we'll grab an electric to go. The electric is very good alone. But this is an opportunity for you to come across. You rotten turkey. What? Anywho. This is where I usually grab it for the first time. Oh my god. You're lucky these enemies respawn. I don't think I'm going to show it off. I just don't think I'm going to. Anyways. Yeah, look at the yellow and the green. It looks great too. Look at this. He's Darth Maul. I'm not even a Star Wars fan, but man, it's cool. Yeah, bite me. I've seen all six of them. They're fine, but they're not well made. I mean, maybe for the time, I guess, maybe. But no, they're 80s movies. 80s movies did not hold up. If you like 80s movies, you are nostalgic. Like, and it's, that almost goes for every 80s movie, I swear. They're all cheesy, corny, or poorly produced, or all of them. I just hate the 80s. It, mediocrity was accepted. Um, I'm not saying things aren't mediocre now, but it just seems like everything in the 80s felt mediocre. 
Um, yeah, come at me. I hate the 80s. Hate. Oh. Uh, we'll come back to this level 4 power up for another level. It's bomb, bomb rock, but. And that's the dynamite one. This is the one where we're gonna need rock fire. So I might just go grab that now. That weird little volcano thing. <clears throat> Alright, let's go run in here. Grab him. I hate you. Rock Kirby, come flying through. We'll go find... Go find a fire guy up here. There we go. Yeah, these levels all coexist with each other, and I like that. Like, you can just come back and grab that, or grab this, or grab that. Just because, I don't know, I feel like they intended for that. Oh. Probably not just going to kill everything in my path. I'm going to get going. That way the video doesn't get too long, and also, you get nothing for killing enemies. I'm not saying you need an incentive for killing enemies in a game like this, but... I mean, there's no incentive, so I'm just not going to. Unless they're in my way. Oh, right. Yeah, I like this level a lot. This is a really good one. I love the music. The music in this game is just... Ooh, got him. Is just unmatched. I will say that about every game I play, because it's just amazing. But, uh, it's true. This game, ooh, it's just, this music in this game is just so good. So we got that little guy. Lots of fun. You gotta run across this or you might die. I think you, I think you will die if you aren't sprinting, but Kirby has that... Nice little hover ability we all know about, so. Nice little snowman there. You could have made double ice. Very fun combo. Pretty, uh, pretty utility, pretty utility as well. Um, I'm trying to remember. I, because I, I said that, but I was thinking about a different one. Yeah, you don't even have to really fight this guy. Oh, wait, I think, I think the door isn't open unless you fight him, but... Yeah, I never come in here with rock fire. Ever. Ever. That's why I left. I was like, I'm going in there for rock fire. I'm, I'm going into this with rock fire, and that's all there is to it. Um, yeah. And it's just like the music and the scenery and just the picture before the level tells me exactly what we're getting into. Because, like I said, I've played this game a hundred times. Ha! When we jump, it turns pink. I don't know why that is, but it's pretty funny. Yeah, Waddle Dee will alert us if something's about to hurt us, so we'll uh, we'll jump that if it does. Now, I will actually try... Oh, there it is. Nice. We don't have to worry at all now. Um, there are... They usually will put, if you have one of these sections, they will put a crystal shard in one of these. Yeah, you sort of just had to fall off that one instead of jumping if you wanted all the stars, but I don't really care. That one you really had to fall off of. That one's some hops. Ooh! Showed off what happens when you get hit. There's a little bit of a buffer. Tiny buffer. After you... Oh, no! No! Oh, my boys! Nah, Kirby's okay. Who cares? The river's just taking us. Ah! So, Kirby has this little invincible lollipop he can get sometimes. Pretty cool. I don't know the official name for it, are you kidding me? Um, but, yeah, it gets a job done. We can just sprint right down the water. Yo, oh, there it is! I knew there was one on the... Like, the bottom side of a waterfall, and I was like, is it not this level? I what? But, it was. There's no indicator to show me how many of them I have, so I'm just guessing the whole time. We're, we're good, though. We have them all. Now, this is a pretty fun one. These logs are coming down. And you have to avoid them, basically. I'm just gonna fly over these guys. Because we don't have the good... We don't have a good power-up, period. <laughs> it's just not good. There we go. Fireball, however... His eyes get real big when you start to suck him. He seems like a real tough guy, and then, he, then he's like, I'm getting sucked! Please, no! No suck here! But then you suck him. So. Here, let me show you uh, Speedrunner's favorite. Alright, they die if you try to suck them too long. And also, I'm bad, so I couldn't get that one. 
Let me see if he attacks when I get this close. No, okay. There we go. This one's great for speedrunning, and it's just great for being awesome. A lot of people say that this one's their favorite. Oh! Smooshed! Wow, tried to attack there. But yeah, just jump, hit that, and you're flying. And then when you come down, you just hit it again. Um, so, I've never actually watched a speedrun of this game. That's just what I've heard. <laughs> Schwammo, got another card. Yeah, I'm pretty good at that minigame. I don't know what it is, but... I know, I've watched a few Let's Plays of this game, and they struggle with that mechanic, and I'm like... Look at Kirby's arms. You don't even hardly have to look at him. Just do it right. Let me go get... I don't know if you can get it in that level. That's why I'm going to go grab it. So let me... Oh, gosh. I'm dumb. I need that, and I need Cutter. Where's the best place for Cutter again? I can't remember. I know there's some uh, of the Sir Kibbles. I'm just going to keep calling them that until someone corrects me. Um, in here. I know it's not immediately, but... <laughs> just <laughs> look at Kirby. He just like... Oh, there he is. He just like breaks free from his rock shell. And he's like... He just like gets a little thicker. Just blows it all away. Cool. This... I know I've said it about everything else, but... This held the longest standing of this is my favorite power-up in the game for a very, very long time. I mean, it still probably is. You can carve into little, the little uh, animal buddies from the old Kirby games. And I didn't know that when I played this game. I thought it was just, I thought it was just fun and quirky. No, you get the animal buddies. I don't know the names of them. But I know they're, that's what they are now. So here I am. I'm actually trying to get my favorite one so we can get going. There we go. Little bird. And you can just... I mean, you move just about as quick as Kirby, if not faster. And you just tear everything up. So. Oh, dang it. I'm just so used to attacking like that. Okay, cool. Got it a lot quicker that time. Yeah, it is random. I'm, and I'm sure the this one's not a lower chance, but it feels that way. Uh, you might need Bomb Cutter for this one. Can't remember. Uh, you, you, need the, you need this one for either this one or the next level, though. I know that for 100%, because I didn't... It was one that I literally 99% of the game all the time, because I just didn't know how to get this one. I just had no idea, and it, it hindered me, because I hadn't played any of the other Kirbys before. And I would have known had I had I, but I hadn't. So, so it's nice that I'm playing these games with life experience, because it'll probably be a lot more enjoyable that I know what I'm doing. Oh, look at that! Blew over that stuff. That was epic. Now I can't actually walk, so you gotta keep on jumping. Uh, we haven't found a crystal shard yet. Weird. Yeah, but. It's rock, but the cutter, as you can see, cuts it up into whatever it turns out to be. The other ones are just super slow. That's why I go for the little bird. Now, sometimes it is tough just getting it. And it feels like a waste just sitting here trying to keep going for it. But I promise, it's fun. That's all I got for you guys. It's just fun. I just like it. Oh, is this the way to the boss? That's not good. I didn't want to go that way. We need to go back through here real fast. Well, maybe that's not a boss. No, okay. Well, we'll go back up there. I just didn't want to go somewhere where I couldn't get out. Sorry, I wasn't moving there. Um, using the control pad. Or the D-pad, as I like to call it. Oh, yep, there's bomb. Bomb cutter right there. Darn. Bomb cutter, everyone. Bomb cutter. All right. Um, there's a bomb back here. I'm just not sure if there's cutter. I, I called it. You were there. Let's go back in here. No, Wisby Woods. How could you? Um, there's, as we saw, a cutter right up here. 
And there should be a bomb right up here as well. I'm not sure though. I just remember it wanted us to see a lot of cool stuff, so. I'm pretty sure there's a bomb in there, but I know there's a bomb in here, so. <clears throat> I think it's right here actually, first and foremost. Yeah. And if you don't alert him to your presence, you can sort of get him for free. If you can time your jump properly, which, believe it or not, is not exactly a hard thing to do. At least for me. Not trying to, not trying to crip anyone's style or whatever kids say these days. Always remember to look back behind you in a level if you're, especially if you're low on health or something. Yeah, but we need to get to, we need to get going. Come on, Kirby, I said we need to get going. Yeah, it must be the next level that you need Cutter Rock for. There is bomb you can get in this level, and I saw that little bomb fish, and I was like, dang it. I don't think that's what tipped me off, but it certainly didn't help. I can't remember, I think it was running through here, I was like, I need bomb cutter, I know it. But, oh well. Okay. Doing a pretty good job, doing a pretty good job. We didn't lose any health there. That was what I was afraid of, really, that we were going to lose health right there. I'm going to try to do a good job of not dying at all during this series, but we'll see. Oh, there's Cutter right there. And let me show you. I was queuing up to say that, so I hadn't said anything there. Uh, there's Bombfish right there. So, if I would just would have went back a screen, followed my gut, went back a screen, could have had Bomb Cutter right there, but heck, it didn't take too much longer. And you guys got to see this beautiful level again. But yeah, if you're up here, you can just throw a bunch of them on the way down. Like, onslaught somebody with just a mass amount of ninja stars. Ninja star! I can't remember what that... It's a it's a video. I didn't ever watch it. I just Somebody referenced it one time. And they were like, if you know, you know. And I was like, then I definitely don't know. It's just some gross country dude saying ninja star. I don't know. It's a whole video, but I'm not into gross country people, so... Sorry, I'm just... I'm not, I'm not prejudiced against too many people, but... Uh, rednecks are generally one of them. Um, like, just people, just ignorance, really. I just, you know, they're usually pretty ignorant and pretty into things I'm not into, so, you know. I just don't like ignorance, because uh, it's, we just have, we have such an opportunity not to be, you know, that it just kills me that so many people are. So I'm like, hate talking to you. Alright. And we're gonna go back over here and we're gonna hit that rock guy, obviously. We are gonna go ahead and get We are gonna get stone Oh, is he not here? Where was he? Anyways. I missed our opportunity then. We're probably gonna have to replay this level. Um, because I don't know if there's another rock. I'm pretty sure I need it right here. Let me go back down here and make sure there's not a crystal shard in here. Oh, just cake. Which is of more importance in my eyes, but maybe not the grand scheme of things. Kirby would agree. Mm, I don't want that fire thing. Sorry. This is the one that you need to be careful standing somewhere for. I can't remember. Got it. Okay, usually you'll stand right in front of him. And then you'll just get screwed. Yep, there it is. I don't think there's any rock here. That's a shame. Yeah, but you need a rock right there. And I was trying my hardest to get it there, but... Yeah. We'll come back in here when we beat it. Because I don't feel like... Like, when I get it, I want to make sure that we're done with it. Dude! What? Wow! I was spamming A that entire time. We are here to be careful now. Oh my god, it like took me with it. 
I just, I didn't know if I'd have enough breath to go over that crab efficiently. I'm just scared now, man. Okay. Oh. Dang. That's a little gross. Um... Yeah, we will go ahead and go in here. We'll go get a cutter real fast. We'll hit it with a rock in the second level. We'll run back through that level, and then we'll take on the boss. Sound good? Sounds great to me. You know what? I figured I would just let him kill us. We have one health, and it's like getting free health. So I'm going to go ahead and count that as a half death, or a zero death. Anything other than that is not allowed. All right, so this is this is what you would have to do um, if you were trying to 100% the game, uh, and you would have to actually remember where all of these people are to get the power-ups from. Okay, and I would I would say you probably agree that um, one 100 percent the game is more fun, and two. Especially when it's pretty obtainable. Attainable. Um, and... God, I don't know. I wish I wouldn't have went for the first point. Oh, cool. Yeah, it's just a, it's a necessary evil, and I'm trying to be pretty quick about it. But I think it's fun. I think it's perfectly fine. You know, people will be like, Oh, I don't like backtracking. But I'm like... I don't know, it added quite a bit to the game for me when I, you know, was not as familiar with it. I I like the idea of having to, you know, go see those, and I'm like, ooh, I gotta go, where did I see that guy? Where's, uh, hmm, hold on a minute. And they make it pretty intuitive for you to do so. When you grab a star piece or crystal shard, you can just leave. And when you grab your power, you can just leave. It's like, it's not punishing. And, you know what, if you don't like it, you're probably just not into the game enough. Um, now, if you'd like for that to be maybe a minor complaint you had at the end, that'd be fine. But, if it were, you know, if that was, like, game-changing for you, that you had to go do that crap and you complained about it all the time and all that, I just, I don't know, I just don't see that as a valid problem, criticism. I mean, anything, anything at all there, I just don't think. Because it's it's a fun game, and it's not that long, so... Like, what, were they just gonna be like, Hey, there's a snowman over there, and a bomb over here. I don't know, and sometimes it is like that. Sometimes it is, and that's awesome. Sometimes you can just go back and grab it. But sometimes you're like, ooh, that's an interesting one. Maybe I, you know, insert whatever you wanted to say about that here. I don't know. King DDD! Smoking us into the stratosphere, and then we came all the way down and hit our head. Yeah, it's like Super Mario Land 2 when I had to do levels over again. Just for whatever reason. Oof. Oh, when you got the secret level, and you had to go back and do the level again. I mean, that's just part of it. <clears throat> there we go. We're gonna drop down in here. We're gonna try to make quick work of this guy. So, the cutting process of him cutting is an attack. The, yeah, watch this. The fish doesn't even do anything underwater. <laughs> so I used to come up here, and I used to just try to float. You can't. I'm not even going to waste your guys' time. You just can't. You can't fly up there. You can't. Not even with this one, you can't fly up there. That thing double jumps. You can't get up there with that. And that thing only jumps one at a time. So, you're like, why did I need that? Apparently, this thing does this. It climbs walls! I mean, it's not stuck to the wall. You have to hold left and... Actually, no. Yeah, you have to hold left and tap A. And actually, I have to let him get some, some height in between his A presses. Or else he'll just creep grabbing the wall and start sliding down, but... Hey, not bad. We don't even have to beat it. All right, let's get into this. I don't think we need a power. I know I keep saying that, but I don't think we actually need something for this one. So I'm just going to go into some type of rock 
and just come on down. That was nice. Mm, we might need something a oh, oh, What is it? Mm, I wanted to say something electric. It might be cutter electric that we need. Let me try to get that little bird and see if it, see if I can get through the water kind of quick in it with it. Because if not, there's just a bunch of rocks falling, and Kirby's just gonna have to walk it. You know what? I'm going for it. I don't even care. Yeah, I think this game does water levels. I guess is yeah. It's like a it's like a water level, not a water world. It's technically a water world, but not completely underwater like a lot of these uh, games are. I think I'm gonna grab a bomb, and I might grab a cutter. No, where to use that combo? I'm not 100% sure. Grab a bomb though, because it's probably gonna provide actual utility against stuff. You probably won't need to kill too much stuff, but like that thing, I want it out of my way, come on. So, let's go ahead and just swim on in this hole. Fish react to us, which is pretty fun. There's an electric in here. Pretty sure there's a star piece, in, or a crystal shard as well. So we're gonna go all the way to the left because the current's gonna take us right. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Dang it, uh, get away from me. I meant when we get up here. Where these bomb fish are? Yeah, we need to come to the left because the current, you can't swim faster than the current, so you need to swim away from it and then do that, so. Got it. Okay, so we got two more crystal shards for this level, and then it's boss It's boss time. And I wish I just remembered what we needed to get into that. Oh, if you hold the bomb button, you throw it further and harder. Just in case you were curious. There's another crystal shard right there. Alright, so you come down to the very bottom, and you hold down. You hold down, hold down, and then start swimming up. Because when you start swimming up, you can't go back. It's over. You. It'll take you away. I wish I remembered what power up I needed. I don't think it's being offered in this game, so or in this level. Hold on, Curb. Hold on. Oh, I needed that. I definitely need that now. Gordo. They're called Gordos. Yeah, what do you need to get the crystal shard from this guy? Nothing? Nothing? Really? There might be something at the bottom. Don't quote me yet. Son of a... <laughs> now I have to do it the stupid way. You take these guys out, and you let them shoot them. Let them shoot them. And then if he hits it, it just blows up and dies, but it still does damage. So, so I guess you could just spit it out at him, but... Yeah. Frankly, I don't even think this thing gives you a reward. Yeah, it doesn't. You just fight that for fun. Where's the third crystal shard then, you tool? Oh yeah, it's in this room. It is more than possible to miss it, so be ready. Yeah, you fight that. You fight that bomb fish for fun. Gross, right? Ow! This pulls you out of the current, but then you just drop by right back in. If you swim away from it, you can see the the craters coming, so you'll have so you won't miss anything if there's anything in them. See, that's what I mean. Cool. Now we're in the money. We won. I'm going to go grab a power-up that I like, and we're going to take on the boss. What, what, what power-up might that be? I have no idea. Uh, 
I don't know what it's going to be, but that's okay. Oh, big stretching. Oh, man. Probably something I can get out of these two worlds, or these four levels. I'm going to guess I could get... No, not that. Absolutely not. Rock's not going to do well at all. Um, if there's fire and cutter over here, I think that would be a fine combo. Yeah, I think that'll be fine. It's easier to throw the fire at the cutter than vice versa, but I don't play by the rules. Try again. We'll go back in to this orca fight. So you can swim while you have the sword out, which is part of the reason I wanted it. Because if you come up here, you can just toss them at him. But it also, if you hold it upwards, it's pretty good anyways. So we just hit him twice. Careful, careful! Careful, SpongeBob! When he's uh, taking, the, taking the can off, uh, the lid off the paint can. Careful, SpongeBob! Careful, SpongeBob! Careful, SpongeBob! Uh, I, got, I got the lid off, Patrick. Oh, whew! Get away from him, get away from him! I'm pretty sure his dead body can actually hurt you. Whew, we did it! I think we'll have to uh, go grab the Crystal Shard somewhere. It'll probably, uh, after this cinematic, it'll probably bring us towards the top. Yeah, it's moving upward. Let's do it. Well, that was a fun little boss fight. It was pretty easy with the with the fire sword, though. Come on, auto scroller. <laughs> What's the enemy life bar doing filling up? Gasp! He's back. Yes, that's right. You thought that was it. Bet you thought he was gone. Bet you thought he had fleed. Bet you thought he wasn't here to shoot more missiles at thee. Howie, get off of me! Yeah, he, it's a patience game. Something that I'm not really here for. That was a total accident. Stop it, Kirby. Put your sword down. There we go. I figured he wasn't going to kill us before I killed him, so I just went for it. Now, for real, got the crystal shard. That's a big one. They give you a big one. Ha! Oh. Yeah, Kirby's sitting there in the water. Oh, cutscene. Threw a rock into a tsunami. And now Kirby's dead again! Oh no, it's fine. Ew. It's Venus. The most hostile planet in our solar system. The Neo Star. Yes, yes. So next, that was the end of the Aqua Star. Thank you, everyone, for coming out. Next time, we are going to take on the Neo Star. Man, this game is flying by, isn't it? We are just going in. We are taking names. I hope you guys are enjoying, and I will see you in episode four for the Neo Star.